abided Jesus, and ye shall receive power. This is your daily devotional reading. Inspired by the Spirit, August 11th. The writer, publishing by God's orders. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. Revelations 21 verse 5 Sister White is not the originator of these books. They contain the instruction that during her life work, God has been given her. They contain the precious, comforting light that God has graciously given his servant to be given to the world. From their pages, this light is to shine into the hearts of men and women, leading them to the Savior. The Lord has declared that these books are to be scattered throughout the world. There is in them truth which to the receiver is a savor of life unto life. They are silent witnesses for God. In the past, they have been the means in His hands of convicting and converting many souls. Many have read them with eager expectation and, by reading them, have been led to see the efficacy of Christ's atonement and to trust in its power. They have been led to commit the keeping of their souls to their Creator, waiting and hoping for the coming of the Savior to take His loved ones to their eternal home. In the future, these books are to make the gospel plain to many others, revealing to them the way of salvation. The Lord has sent His people much instruction, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little and there a little. Little heed is given to the Bible, and the Lord has given a lesser light to lead men and women to the greater light. Oh, how much good would be accomplished if the books containing this light were read with a determination to carry out the principles they contain. There would be a thousandfold greater vigilance, a thousandfold more self-denial and resolute effort. And many more would now be rejoicing in the light of present truth. My brethren and sisters, Work earnestly to circulate these books. Put your hearts into this work, and the blessing of God will be with you. Go forth in faith, praying that God will prepare hearts to receive the light. Be pleasant and courteous. Show by a consistent course that you are true Christians. Walk and work in the light of heaven, and your path will be as the path of the just, shining more and more unto the perfect day. Inspired by the Spirit, August 11th.